let's say I start attacking like a weekend. Anthony Rumble Johnson! Yeah. Yes, sir! So, so just tell us what sumo! Sumo wrestling tonight? Is sumo. this what you're doing? What, what's going on here? Everybody, everybody used to, you know, they thought I was still 280, so they asked me to do this event. I showed up, you know, in my skinny clothes this time, and now I'm 230, so it's something to find something different, so I look forward to it. What is it like just being here in South Florida, Miami? It's this beautiful. Whole great weather, great people. Uh, to me, this is the capital of MMA, you know. Uh, you, every little city, you know, because we have a bunch of those around here, uh, it has a major gym in it, you know. So uh, you can go to every city and join a great gym out here in Florida. So down here, is, it's the best. Why do you think it is so popular, so prevalent to train down here? Um, the best of the best comes here. That's all I can tell you. I mean, who wouldn't want to live here and train year round? The weather, you know, you got the Brazilians, you got different cultures here. Um, what more can you ask for? You know what I mean? Each culture that comes here, they come to the States for a reason to, to better themselves. You know what I mean? Uh, this is supposed to be the land of the free. You know, so uh, these guys come over and try and make their dreams come true by being a uh, Mixed martial artists, they can be a singer, an actor, a truck driver, they want to be. It doesn't matter. CEO of a major company here, you know, and do well. So uh, being in Florida is just very sad. Now, MMA, you were ranked as high as number one. <laughs> UFC, top of the top. What was that experience like for you? Um, it, it didn't really like affect me or anything like that. I can't say it didn't matter because I work hard to get there. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter unless I win a title. So you can be ranked all you want. That's just a number. You know, I don't want former, like you said, former number one light heavyweight contender. I want to be UFC champion. You know what I mean? That's what it all boils down to. When you're training, when you're preparing, when just going through that whole grind, what was that like? the first time you start training for MMA. What was your background before MMA and then just trying to transition over to MMA? I was a wrestler for, fresh out of college. Um, my neighbor at the time asked me to try it out. I tried it and I just, I loved it, you know. Um, it was very easy for me to adapt to MMA, just being a natural athlete. Like you show me something two or three times, I usually pick it up, you know what I mean? So it, it was pretty easy to me to be able to uh, Make that transition. Yeah. Yeah. Where was growing up for you? Excuse me? Where did you grow up? Georgia. You were in Georgia? Georgia. You know, um, to me it was a small farm. I had cows. Uh, I had a horse. I had chickens. I had a dog. Um, I got a pond. Uh, I had a cat. I had dogs. I had everything. You know what I mean? Goats. So I had all of that. Very quiet farm lifestyle? Um, well, where I grew up at was on a major highway, which is 441. So where I grew up comes all the way down here to the bottom of Florida. So I'm on a major road, so it was definitely not quiet, but I lived 20 miles outside of the city. So it was quiet enough. What part of Georgia? Dublin, Georgia. Dublin is a big city. My little community is called Cedar Grove and Rents. That's so interesting that, because you're right, 441 State Road 7 right goes all the way. You never knew how far that thing yeah. went and all like that. My address was on 441 South. Did you ever just drive just down to no. South Florida? <laughs> and, uh, you know, half the, halfway down here, I take 441. Then, you know, you got to take all these little back roads. What people don't realize is that it's still 441. You may see 20 other numbers behind you because that's how they got it registered on the map and in the system. But, uh, yeah, 441 was where it's at. So cool. Were you into fishing at all? Oh, no. Were you into fishing at all? Oh, my granddad was into fishing. Um, you know, spending time with your family like that, it's always fun. You know, my neighbors had ponds, lakes. Uh, to me, it looked like a lake. It's probably considered a pond compared to what a real lake is. But uh, my neighbors had, we had 10, 15 ponds around my house. Just my neighbors had two or three ponds on their property because they had hundred acres of land just sitting around chilling you know what I mean with the cows and everything else on pigs and all that so we had our choice of whatever pond we wanted to go so we were in the mood to just catch bass 
we go to my neighbor Henry's pond. You know what I mean? If I'm in the mood to catch some catfish, I just stay home. If I want to get white perch and brim and all this other stuff, I can go home. I can go to my neighbors. You know, it didn't matter. We had everything we needed right there. We we actually fed off the land for the most part. And that's so cool. Yeah, it was fun. Because you know what? That's something. Just to talk a little bit about because there's so much in this country. We have so much, mm -hmm. and there's so many people. Ungrateful. And it's so hard for them. And yeah, ungrateful. A lot of people are ungrateful. A lot of people just don't get to experience something like that yeah. and all. And uh, it's, just, it's interesting. Now, for you, for college, where was college for you? Lassen College in Susanville, California, which is by Reno, Nevada, up in North Cal, mm -hmm. and it's in the mountains. Where, where I went to college, it was literally in, in a mountain in the valley. You know what I mean? I was close to uh, Chico State, which is in California. Uh, Humboldt, which most people know what that's for. Uh, yeah, Reno was an hour, 15 hour, 20 away. Sacramento was two, three hours away. So where I was at, it was in the middle of nowhere. But uh, everything around us was an hour and, or more away. We were literally in the desert on top of a mountain, in, in, in a mountain. So. I, if I stood, if I was on college campus and I did a 360, there's mountains all the way around. So it was beautiful though in the winter. It was absolutely beautiful because in Georgia, it doesn't snow like that. So going from humidity to just being, having snow up to my knees, it's like a culture shock. But it didn't, I, once again, I just adapted instantly. So I signed up for it. So I got to, I got to take it. Did you make a snowman? Did you do the snowball fights? Did you do all those things? I did in the snow was fall. <laughs> You know, we hit that black ice whenever you go into class and you don't realize it's there. You hit it, then you know you start dancing and trying to catch your, your balance and boom. <laughs> you just hit the ground, so that's how it was there. But it was fun. Everybody was from someplace different. Everybody, I still have great friends from college. Some of my closest friends are, you know, obviously from college. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. Maybe that snow and ice will help prepare you for tonight with the sumo wrestling. Yeah, I hope so, man. I got, I got a big challenge in front of me. You know, going against all the guys are competitors. Curtis and the sumo wrestlers are all competitors. So, I, but I look forward to it. You know, once again, I said before, um, a lot of people talk about living their best life, but they're just traveling, which is fine. You know, but for me, I need a, I want to travel and challenge myself. So I'm trying to do two for ones out here. Everybody else is doing one thing. They just want to travel and see stuff. I'm trying to compete and travel all at the same time. Did you do any special training? I did a little bit. My, my guy, Sumo Dan, from, uh, he's actually, I think he's competed against these guys, but he knows who they are. Um, Dan is, uh, he's a great guy. I got to hook up from him with my guy, Eric, the trainer in LA from Celebrity Sweat. And uh, those guys are the best, you know what I mean? Everybody's cool. So my thing for this is uh, we get to give back to the community. A lot of people don't know that. Well, you know, we pay, have some of the pay-per-view buyers, percentage of the pay-per-view buyers are going back to a community or a charity of our choice. Um, mine is the New York Bullies. You know, they rescue pretty much bullies and stuff, but those are the one animal that needs help more than Chihuahuas and German Shepherds and Poodles and stuff like that. You know, a lot of people have to, uh, they misunderstand the bullies, so I got to get back to that community. They, they, and plus, you know, I, I do breeding here and there. I do bully breeding here and there, you know what I mean? I'm not one of those backyard breeders or nothing like that. My, once every two, three years or something like that, you know what I mean? I may come out with the litter. I do Frenchies. So, you know, a lot of people want French Bulldogs and, you know, you don't see really many of those in shelters. You know what I mean? They're in kind of a high demand right now. So, uh, I'm, but I love the, I love the breed. I love animals. It's all fun for me. You know what I mean? But I, I produce what I like. Is that how you got interested in it? Just because of your love for animals, or was there someone you knew, and they were involved in it, and you said, "I want to get involved in that With the program"? Yeah. I, once again, I'm on a, I was raised on a small farm, so animals just the second nature to me. You know what I mean? So, uh, like I said, I had dogs my whole life. Rock Rollers, German Shepherds. Bull dogs, pit bulls, so you know, I fell in love with the bully breed and I love raw wilds, I love dog I love every breed honestly. I don't I don't care if the dog is small. I, I like it some some way, shape or form. They talk about your aspirations in college. What were your aspirations in college? Did you finish college and get your degree yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did all of that. Um, what did you get your degree into? 
of education. Just education. Uh, Which you could use that in so many different yeah, ways. Yeah, you can use it in different ways, but I know if those kids are anything like me growing up, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, it's something to fall back on. You know, I never once imagined I'd be a fighter, though. I've always been an athlete and I've always been tough. You know, you see football games as a kid, basketball, baseball, boxing, hockey, golf, and NASCAR. It doesn't matter. You see those sports and you tell yourself, I want to I want to be that guy. I want to be the best. I want to be at the top of the food chain. Just like every guy we just saw on TV as a little kid. I just always thought mine would be a football. But coming out of high school, I had a wrestling scholarship and I had a football scholarship. And uh, I chose wrestling over football because wrestling is an individual sport. Football, I, it's me and 10 other guys out there. I don't want to have to depend on 10 other people just to get a plate, you know what I mean, or two or three yards. Plus, you don't know if the next guy on the other side of the ball is going to be a head case like me when it comes to attacking the ball or the next Ray Lewis, you know what I mean? So I'll take my chances on myself. <laughs> and doing that, has gotten you to a very high level and all. I mean, that's the thing. When you were looking at some of the role models growing up, especially athletes, who were some of the who were some of the role models? Who were some of the athletes that you looked to? Were you a big Atlanta Braves fan? Were a lot of the Atlanta yeah, yeah. teams I, Falcons, Braves, Hawks? Yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm a always support my state. You know what I mean? And will I say I'm not a diehard fan of any sport? I just respect the athletes. You know what I mean? Because every team, every sport has great athletes on it. Um, baseball, though, when it came to that, my team was, uh, of course, the Braves. You know, they had John Smoltz, uh, Greg Maddox. Tom Gladden. Tom Gladden. They had, you know, I think Dion was on the team. Fred McGriff, uh, Marquise Grissom. It was like um, Raphael Foucault was on there. Uh, Andrew Jones, Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones. They had, and if I'm missing anybody Atlanta Braves from the past, I'm so sorry. Uh, but they had a killer squad back then. You couldn't beat that pitching, that pitching staff that they had. That that, that whatever they call it, you know what I mean? Uh, bullpen or whatever they call it in baseball for the pitchers and whatnot. Starting pitchers and yeah. then you had your bullpen you, and you, your closer. You, right. Each backup was a threat. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I think good I, times back then with yeah, the Braves. Yeah, it was great, and I think uh, I think John Rocker came after. Like he came after. He was a hell of a baseball player, so he can throw the ball like a missile. Um, those guys I love because um, I grew up watching them, you know. But my favorite pitcher is Randy Johnson. Hmm. Can't get can't big unit can't 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 compare to Randy Johnson. But then after him, after my Braves and him though, it's uh, uh, what's his name Roger Clemens, um, uh, Anthony uh, and Andy Petty, Andy Pettit, Andy yes, Pettit, him. Um, it was one. Were you more. a Kurt Schilling fan? No, I don't know if that was one. No, Kurt they had, they had one more besides those two. Um, I can't remember his name right now. I want to say Rivera. Mariano Rivera, maybe. Yeah. And Vic you Moser know, with the Yankees. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just yeah. unbelievable. You know what? Career. Um, I got a baseball in storage that's signed by all those guys when they played their very last game together. Yeah, a friend of mine gave it to me. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you need to hide that. Yeah, it's I do it in stories. I'm not letting anybody know where it is in stories. All of that. That's so great. And I want to tell you this. Were you a pro wrestling fan at all? Um, Yeah. I watched WCW and WWE growing up. Um, Macho Man. Uh, Des Dusty Rose. Les Luger. Uh, Iron Sheep. Coco Beware. Legion of Doom. Undertaker. Typhoon. Uh, earthquake, um, Stinger, uh, Sting, Ric Flair. I don't know if I said Les, Les, uh, Lex Luger, Lex yeah, Luger, Lex Luger. Um, uh, Queen Elizabeth. You know what I mean? Um, Were you the Rock, Stone Cold, that too, or Stone no? Cold was the man back then. You know, to me, he became bigger once those guys kind of already were on their way out. It was his time. You know what I mean? Triple H, those guys. Uh, uh, was it Kevin Nash? Yeah. Uh, Razor Ramon, man, it was uh, uh, Sid Vicious. That was my guy. Sid Vicious was just <laughs> ultimate war. Man, you know what I happened to Sid? He actually broke his leg jumping off like the top rope in a match. Really? He, really for I real. Knew that. He broke, and, it, and it 
it was on a pay per view and the leg actually snapped. You saw it was it. like yeah, crazy. Wow. One day you could you could look it up right, and all. I, I it's crazy. That out. See, you know, uh, the Steiner brothers. St I was just about to say Owen Hart and Owen Hart and yeah. Bret Hart. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Scott Scott Steiner and all of those guys. Um, uh, Gold Dust. People forget about those names. Um, uh, what's the guy? What's the guy? What's the guy? Um, Ron Simmons. People forget about all of these people. You know what I mean? Ron not Simmons. Me. Awesome. He Ron was, Simmons was also Florida State University Hall of Famer for football. Yeah, and then my guy Excellent. Booker T. That's, that's my guy right there. That's my boy. So um, now we got my new guy, Savvy. Uh, I think Savvy's last name is. Tele, te, 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 Latino or te, something, you know what I mean? But he's he's a new up and comer. Um, Tino Sabatelli, maybe? Yeah, yeah, something like that. We call him Savvy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's not much. I pay attention to everybody else's name. I just know you for who you are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that girl, is so my cool. Girl, my girl, um, uh, what's her name? Dana Brooks. That's what we call Ash. You know what I'm saying? We know. I know people by different names. Yeah, Dana's cool. Name. Dana's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Just saw her. I just saw her last just week. Just saw her last week too. At, uh, at Bare knuckle, knuckle fighting. Yeah, yeah, I was right there with yeah, her. yeah, yeah. It was so, cool about. Um, you know, um, it's it's a couple of guys out there that uh, definitely have my respect in the sport. You know, I actually was about to go out for it. And that's what try. I was going to lead to, um, right? Because there are a lot of amateur, great amateur wrestlers, mm -hmm. really good amateur wrestlers that have made that transition. Yeah, my girl Ronda Rousey went over there and made headway. No, gee, I mean, she, she did it all. She's killing it. You know what I mean? She went from one thing to the next and. Kept going, kept going. So much left. Well, oh, Anthony, Brock Lesnar, Kurt Angle, yeah, all those. Bobby guys. Lashley, it's so Jack many, Swagger, so many yeah, names. Shayna Baszler. I mean, never remember them all. Sexy Star, I'll blow you real. Thunder Rosa, <laughs> yeah. across one way or the other. Yeah. MMA to pro wrestling yeah. or vice versa yeah. and all. I so. thought about it. Um, you know, they have the Performance Center, WWE, right, yeah. right up in Orlando. Yeah, they do. They do. Um, even a tryout? Go up for a tryout? I, they do that I don't know, Booker T told me to come try it out. And he has I mean? a school in Texas. He, he has he his does. own training center out so, there. So I may try it. You know, um, after this, I really want to get into uh, acting. I want to try acting. I want to try everything possible before I go six feet under. And MMA. Anything more for you with MMA? Um, just keep going until my body and my brain says, don't do this anymore. Going, I gotta keep going until my heart says that's enough. All right, Anthony, thank you so much. Good luck tonight thank with you. the sumo. I appreciate it. Thank you.